Hey, hey, this is Sapphire Mayo, and welcome to another episode of Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. This episode is brought to you by Bubble Wrap, which I happen to have some with me right now. And now I should put this thing away before it distracts me even further. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. Um, now, without further ado, let us continue on and finish off this second world with Cleaver's Kiln. Because really, I just think this is just... It's already been four episodes and I'm still at this... Uh, well, technically it's been five episodes. And I'm still at the second world, so let's. we need a change of scene. So luckily, this is nearly finished. Anyway... Yes. And, uh, sorry about that. Something just... Some person just started randomly coming to my room. Don't worry. Anyways, moving on. I lose the cannonball, but right here we have Cleaver. Who is a sword, and I just think is a really awesome concept for a boss. So I think he's actually the coolest looking boss in this game. If I can actually hit him for once. Goodness gracious, come on. Let's wait for his balls to... Great big balls of fire. There we go. And he gets pissed off, and then these convenient hooks are up here, and we shall use that to get to safety. And there we go. Yes. Go down to the depths of hell, you freaking sword. But wait. He's still alive, and he's floating around, and... So yes, so now he's got a slightly different at attack pattern at the moment. We've got a few more hooks, and if we float with Dixie Kong right here, we get some more lovely tokens, or just banana coins. So now he's continuing to be all annoyed and stuff. Ugh, we've got to dodge his attacks. There we go. He gets pissed off yet again. We dodge his attacks. Rinse and repeat. He's a pretty straightforward boss. And this should be the last hit. Indeed it is. So that does it for our second world. Finally. Yes, so now we get our lovely creme coin for our efforts of defeating the boss. And now, we shall be moving on to Creme Key. Which I initially thought was Creme Quay, but turns out it's actually Creme Key. And now we're going to move on to Barrel Bayou. So now from a lava stage, we move on to a swampy stage, which is actually quite interesting. Something a little bit different. And hopefully I won't spend another five or six episodes in this one world, uh, as long as I don't keep dying. Or failing to get to the bonuses or secrets or something. Anyway, speaking of which, we gotta go here, pick up Ranvi, yet again. And we're gonna make our merry way to the stage without losing him, because yes, we do need him for something. And now that I mention that, I'm pretty sure the Let's Play curse is gonna descend upon me and I'm gonna lose him of all things. So let's just not die, preferably. Alrighty then. I want to see if I can actually do this correctly. I normally haven't had too much of a problem in the past, but you know, like I said, once you start recording, all hell breaks loose. Alright then. And here we go. There's our DK coin. Now following our banana logic, we gotta follow this guy with the arrows. He'll throw more stuff at us. When he stops. There we go. And here's our cannonball for the cannon right back here. And we have to destroy them all, as usual. But here we're using this, so let's try and kill that zinger with this cannonball. Thank you very much. And the rest you can just tag team and get rid of these guys. Pretty simple. And, alright then, well, I, at least I died there. At least I didn't die when I had Ranby because Ranby is required for the DK coin. So, I can kind of forgive you there. Okay, that's fine. I've, uh, I'm pretty sure I've got enough lives to deal with anyway. And, yeah, I shouldn't have really rolled in there because I should have jumped. But okay, that's all good. Let us continue on. And convenient DK barrel right there, which is very good. Very nice. 
I believe we got one more little bonus to cover in this level. Which we should be coming up pretty soon. Um, oh jeez. And I might want to collect a few of those. Yeah, this bit's kind of annoying. So yeah, you know, notice that we're closing into the end of the level when you see the G, the letter G. And here's our bonus. You could just jump on those uh, barrels he's throwing at you, but the tagging team is a bit better, I find. Especially in my practice playthrough of this, um, I was just playing this level and I only had Diddy Kong. And I tried bouncing on the um, the barrels just to get extra height, but Diddy Kong it does not jump high enough to reach that. It was just so stupid. I hated that. It was just really annoying when you're actually just trying to, you know, get 102% completion, and it just doesn't work because freaking Diddy Kong doesn't like to jump high enough. Yes, for those wondering, yes, there is a difference between the jumps. Dixie does jump higher, and Diddy Kong is just marginally faster. But here we're now going to tackle onto Glimmer's Galleon. And we have a bonus right at the beginning, which is always very nice. So we can get it out of the way immediately. And it is another one of those mazes. Now you can also notice that because this is extremely dark, you can also tell that there's, this is one of those uh, mandatory light physics levels that Rareware loved to sprinkle in back in the day. So yeah, this is one of those levels that utilizes light because it's ridiculously dark and you need to find ways or there's one way to make it a bit easier to navigate through. But even on its own, you could probably just go through this level without the need for any light source, but they want to do that because they, they can. Anyway, DK coins are right there. So we've practically covered almost all the uh, bonus secret stuff in this level and we've, we've barely started it. So okay, well that's how that works. Which is, I really don't mind that. Then we have a newcomer coming pretty soon, which happens to be Glimmer. So he pretty much feel, fulfills the role that Squawks did in the previous game. And yes, he is just as useless as what Squawks used to be. And thankfully, Glimmer never really appears in any subsequent games after this one. So he's a very forgettable character. And unfortunately, comes to the same uh, usefulness that Squawks used to be back in the day. Or, like, in the, in the prequel, anyways. But, uh, yeah. So this is Glimmer, and this is Glimmer's Galleon. And it's, uh... I think it's a bit more on the more annoying levels. It's a little bit on the long side, but... It's nothing too... It's not, like, that that difficult. Alrighty, then. There's our midway point, which is very handy. And, oh god, I hate these guys. I do not like them, and I friggin' got into the friggin' there. Okay. Yes, explode for me. Thank you. I do not like these shari, these shuriken. Oh, they're called shari, I know, but they're... God, they, they can really be irritating to deal with. Especially because of limited mobility in the water. Because we know we all really like those homing attack items and all those homing attack uh, enemies. That's try and deal with you. Even these guys sort of do the same thing. But at least they're a little bit less annoying. Do not want. Oh god. Alright, now here, if we head down here. And pass this guy. We'll get to our next bonus. In fact, um, there is actually another thing that I want to mention. Um, this is a, just a few days after reco um, since recording this. Um, Cranky Kong has actually been announced to be the next playable character in Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. And I am so excited for that. That is awesome. We finally get to play as Cranky Kong. I mean, you know, he's like that guy that, you know, we finally know how he plays. Because he's the one that, you know, beats the game in less than an hour and using only one life. So now we can finally be the original Donkey Kong, which is freaking awesome. I'm totally up for that. And I can't wait to do a 100% playthrough of uh, Cranky Kong on Tropical Freeze. But right here, we are at the very end of the level, and with that, we get one banana. Perfect. Anyway, now that that's all done... We can now save, and I think I might end things off here.
Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sapphire Mail. Over. And out.